animals possess an inherent intuition that eludes human explanation. When a doctor proposed the idea of getting a dog for a paralyzed child, the parents were initially skeptical about its potential benefits. However, what unfolded next left everyone astounded. Sky and Mariska, driven by their strong desire for a large family, decided to tie the knot. Both being only children, they deeply yearned for the companionship of siblings. One of their earliest agreements upon meeting was that they would build a substantial family together. In order to save money for their future, they opted for a modest wedding ceremony, attended exclusively by their closest friends and family. Their intention was to accumulate sufficient funds to purchase a spacious house that would accommodate their envisioned family. Over the course of a couple of years, they diligently worked and saved. With Mariska aiming to take a few years off work after the baby's arrival to be able to spend ample time at home with them. However, their ambitious plans required substantial financial resources. When the time was right, they ventured into the suburbs and acquired a charming older house with the intention of renovating it into the perfect abode for their family. Though it took time. As they undertook all the renovations themselves to cut down on costs, they eventually transformed the house into a delightful place to welcome their baby. Their entire lives had been shaped by the anticipation of starting a family someday. Which made them overjoyed when they successfully conceived shortly after deciding to try. They understood the fortunate circumstances they found themselves in since many couples often face difficulties conceiving. Indeed. They were elated to find themselves pregnant mere months after discontinuing birth control. Given that both Sky and Mariska were only children. It was evident that their child would be the first grandchild on both sides of the family. The anticipation among their loved ones was palpable. As they eagerly awaited the arrival of this precious bundle of joy. However. Their excitement skyrocketed to new heights when they had their first ultrasound and received a tremendous surprise. They were expecting twins. While their initial plan of having a big family had always been on their minds. Never did they anticipate having twins simultaneously. It meant that navigating the journey of first-time parenthood would be doubly challenging. But they embraced the idea with open arms. Knowing that it would also bring them double the joy and fulfillment. They decided to organize a gender reveal party and eagerly discovered that they were expecting two little girls. It was a moment of immense joy that they could celebrate these precious blessings with all their loved ones. The excitement was truly incredible. Despite carrying twins. Mariska had a relatively smooth pregnancy. The months swiftly passed. And well before the anticipated due date. They had a beautifully decorated pink nursery filled with the most adorable clothes and essentials for their twin girls. Sky and Mariska were astonished by the sheer amount of gear required for such tiny beings, however. Their two little girls decided to make their entrance a bit earlier than expected. Although the labor was challenging. All the pain and effort instantly became worthwhile when Mariska held one baby in her arms and witnessed Sky cradling their other little girl. The two newborns brought immense joy. And Sky and Mariska felt like they were in heaven. They finally had everything they had always wished for. But their joy was soon to multiply even further. When the girls were around six months old, Mariska began feeling unwell. Experiencing dizziness and nausea. Concerned they sought medical attention. Only to be shocked by the news that Mariska was pregnant again. Although they hadn't planned on having another baby so soon. They were still overjoyed by the unexpected addition to their growing family. It was a swift turn of events. But their excitement persisted. However. This pregnancy proved to be vastly different. Mariska endured constant sickness throughout. And she was even placed on bed rest during her second trimester due to the risk of losing the baby. Juggling the care of their two little girls while battling her own discomfort was a challenging task for Mariska. Sky did his best to support her. But he had work responsibilities as well. 
Fortunately, they were blessed with the love and assistance of numerous people who cared for them deeply. Both their mothers frequently lent a helping hand. Preparing meals, taking care of the girls. And tidying their home. This allowed Mariska to focus on bonding with her babies and regaining her health. They learned that their upcoming addition would be a boy. And they had already chosen the name James for him. Despite taking all necessary precautions, Mariska unexpectedly went into labor at 32 weeks gestation. Baby James arrived as a tiny bundle and was immediately admitted to the neonatal intensive care unit, NICU. The medical team at the NICU provided exceptional care. But it remained a heart-wrenching experience for Mariska and Skye. James faced significant health challenges. And their concerns for his well-being grew with each passing day. There were moments when it seemed uncertain whether he would pull through. But their resilient little fighter defied the odds time and again. Although it was a difficult time as they couldn't stay at the hospital around the clock. They had two babies at home who needed their care. After a few weeks, James showed signs of improvement. But it became evident that his right side was paralyzed. While he could move one little arm and leg, his right side remained unresponsive. It was perplexing because there was no visible damage to explain his condition. Nevertheless, they cherished the moments they could hold him. And with time, he made significant progress. Allowing him to finally go home. The day the entire family could be together was filled with immense happiness for Mariska and Skye. However, they also carried concerns about the challenges James might face. The twins adored their baby brother. But being mere infants themselves. It was almost like having triplets. Except James couldn't actively participate in their playtime due to his small size and the limitations of his right arm. They provided him with toys. But he struggled to hold on to them if they were on his right side. When he longed to be held. He could only extend one arm to his parents. It was always heartbreaking to witness. Despite numerous tests. Doctors couldn't identify the problem or provide a solution. As James approached his first birthday. His paralysis persisted on the right side. Seeking answers. They consulted yet another doctor who presented Skye with an unusual suggestion. He recommended getting a dog. Specifically a Labrador or Chow Chow. As animal therapy had shown remarkable results in similar cases. Mariska and Skye were torn. With three children still in diapers and the twins just beginning to walk. They already had their hands full. Adding a puppy to the mix didn't seem like the most practical idea. However. They couldn't ignore the urge to explore every possible avenue in assisting James. Both being animal lovers. They had planned on getting a dog at some point anyway. So they decided to give it a try. After all. Nothing else seemed to adhere to their schedule so why should this be any different? They scoured the internet and discovered a three-month-old Chow Chow puppy. They brought the puppy, Hazel, home. And soon enough. The girls developed an instant fondness for her. She loved playing with them. But it became evident that she had a unique connection with James. She would curl up beside him and even nibble gently on his paralyzed right side. Mariska would quickly intervene. Preventing the puppy from biting her baby. But an unexpected occurrence took place. James started giggling, he could feel it. It was an incredible sight to witness. They had never been sure if he had any sensation on his right side. But now they knew he could feel and enjoy it. They allowed the dog to play with James, although it seemed peculiar that she only nibbled on his right side. Nevertheless. They had a happy baby. And that was their primary concern. However. The subsequent events left everyone in shock. One day. As all the children sat in their high chairs. Eating their food. Sky nourished them with their favorite meal while Mariska prepared breakfast for the adults. It was an atmosphere of calmness until Hazel, the dog, 
walked past. Sky quietly signaled Mariska to look. And when she turned, tears welled in her eyes. James was extending both of his arms, summoning the dog. It was a remarkable moment. As his right arm, which had been previously immobile, was now in use. From then on, James continued to improve. The doctor speculated that Hazel's gentle nibbles might have produced an acupuncture-like effect or that the immense love he received contributed to his progress. Regardless of the explanation, James thrived. He soon learned to walk and run alongside his sister. By the time he turned two, one would never have guessed that he had experienced any health challenges. He achieved all the developmental milestones expected of his peers. Becoming a joyful and exceptionally healthy toddler all thanks to a remarkable dog that had captured their hearts. Experienced hunter says dot don't look into the eyes of the beast. Because they can sense humans fear and attack them. When encountering an animal in its natural habitat. You better look away. You move slowly to a safe distance. But remember never turn your back on it. The protagonist in today's story may not know this rule or she may have forgotten this rule at the most critical moment. There are many unusual things in this story. But we have no answers. Maybe after hearing this story, you can explain this unusual behavior of wild tigers. This happened many years ago. This remote village is haunted by tigers. Natalia took her husband and son away from the noisy city. They came to live in a quiet place near the forest with many young locals heading to the cities to make a living. There are tons of housing options here. There are also many job opportunities here. Natalia graduated from an agricultural university with a degree in veterinary medicine. She worked very successfully in the animal hospital. Natalia's husband Andrew is a top-notch welder. He can easily find a job. The only downside is that Natalia's work is far from home. Every day she follows a road through a forest. She is so afraid of wild animals that her husband picks her up from get off work every day. He also carries a shotgun with him. He is not for hunting. But for protecting his wife. So they will be safer. After get off work every day. Natalia would look into the distance to find her husband. And happily run to meet him. But one day. Andrew didn't come. Natalia looked into the distance for a long time. But her husband did not appear. It's getting dark. She has no choice but to walk alone in the forest. She can hear her footsteps. The sounds are enough to scare her. This is the first time she has walked this path alone. Her husband didn't come to pick her up. What happened? Just a few hours ago. Andrew is working. He wants to finish work on time so he can meet Natalia. He was so preoccupied with getting the job done as quickly as possible that he completely forgot about safety. On that day, he was cutting metal rods that he would later use to weld the roof frame of a new shed. But because of his inattention, the tool fell from his hand. It did him a fatal injury. He died before reaching the hospital. Natalia goes into the bushes. She walked halfway. She felt a pair of eyes staring at her. She is very scared. She turned slowly and saw a huge tiger right behind her. The tiger is a few meters away from her. It stood there staring into her eyes. But at the same time. She thinks this look is very familiar. She thinks she knows its eyes. Out of fear and confusion. Natalia passed out in front of the huge beast. How long was she lying there? She didn't know. But she woke up in the hospital. It turned out that after the locals learned of Andrew's death. They come to find Natalia. She was lying on the ground and people couldn't wake her up. People took her to the hospital when a woman comes to her senses. What awaits her is a new blow. Her husband died. For a long time. The woman was unable to face reality. 
only her son can ease her pain. His son was there for her in those difficult days. Time goes by. Her pain gradually eased. Natalia went to work again. Now it's her son who picks her up from get off work every day. While women resent it. The boy insists on it. One day the boy was walking back along the trail and saw raspberries in the bushes. He told mom to stay here. He wants to pick raspberries. He didn't notice that a huge brown bear appeared beside him, Natalia was the first to see the beast. She whispered to her son. But he didn't hear. The woman bent down slowly and picked up the stick from the ground. She yelled and rushed towards the bear. Diverting its attention. She wants her son to escape as soon as possible. The bear got up and started growling. But then the bear howled in pain. It turned out that a beast threw it down. At this time. Natalia discovers that a tiger attacked the bear, this tiger looks familiar and this woman feels pain. The tiger stayed here for a while before disappearing into the bushes. Local residents who heard the story said. Her husband's soul lived in a tiger's body. He guards his wife and son in another way. His death did not mean leaving his wife and son that he became a tiger to guard his wife and son. What do you think of this story? Do you think this statement is reliable? Do you have any other explanation for this strange behavior of the tiger? Hope you can share your opinion in the comments. Maybe you've heard similar stories. Or do you know why the tiger didn't hurt Natalia and her son? And the tiger saved them. Hello everyone. If you're seeing my column for the first time and you want to know something new and interesting, here will definitely increase your knowledge. Please make sure you are subscribed to this channel and activate the notification ringtone. So you don't miss the good news. Morris lives in a village near the forest. There are a lot of wild animals living there. Different from others. Morris doesn't like to hurt animals. He's passionate about helping them. Morris will take his weapon and go to the forest every day to collect mushrooms. He generally does not use weapons except in self-defense. Every day he clears the forest and takes out bags full of rubbish. Why do people in the village laugh at him? Ridicule him. One day that as usual. He goes to the forest to collect herbs with a garbage bag and basket. On the way to the forest. He found a group of newborn tiger cubs lying under the trunk. They have trouble in breath. Morris heard a voice approaching him. Then he turned around. Suddenly. Mother tiger appeared. It slowly approaches the cubs and hugs them. The man identified these are her cubs. He tries to get away without the tigress noticing. He turned away silently. At this time. The tiger saw the man. It knows the man doesn't want to hurt these little tigers. Morris continued walking in the forest. But he was taken aback by this mother tiger. Because it still follows him. Morris then decided to move on. He wants to know what the tiger wants to do. The tiger is back where those cubs used to be. At this time. The man understands that the mother tiger wants him to help the cubs. The man uses his vast experience to provide first aid to cubs. Four of the cubs are in good health. And one tiger cub still has health problems. It is unable to stand up due to coughing and difficulty breathing. When Morris was about to leave. The mother tiger approached him with her cub in her mouth. Then it put the little tiger down. The man realizes mother tiger wants him to take cub to hospital. Morris left quickly with the cub. And the mother tiger kept watching him. Morris knows the cub is very sick. He immediately went to the nearest veterinarian. Over there. The veterinarian treated the cub and gave it some medicine and vitamins. The vet then advised Morris to feed it well. When Morris came back. He put the little tiger in a room. The man named it Lackey. It is being treated. One of Morris's neighbors is named Michael. This man has caused a lot of trouble in the village. 
but Morris discouraged him every time. Michael upset about Tiger in Morris' house. He wants Morris out of here. Let the tiger back into the forest. Or it will be a threat to the villagers. But Morris refused his request and deported him every time. When Morris and Lackey were in the woods. He has a bad feeling. He hurried home and left the tiger there. When Morris returned home. He noticed smoke coming from the window. He found the glass in the kitchen was broken. The kitchen caught fire and he tried to put it out but it causing him to pass out. He then looked at the doctors and thanked them for their help. But paramedics told Morris a pack of tigers saved him. Hearing this, he realized that it was Lackey's brother and mother who saved him. They all got him out of the house. The police later found out the truth of the fire. The culprit of all this is Michael. He's trying to get revenge on Morris for getting him arrested by the police.